guys, please, please just stop. You're, you're, you're hurting me. Every time I see this, it, a part of my soul just, just dies. Just a little, little part of my soul dies every time I see one of these sold auctions on eBay. Please, please, please. I, I'm gonna real quick tell you guys the difference between out of print and in print and go over what is such a big issue right now. So I'm not here to bash on people who are making these purchases. I'm here to try to educate you. I, I, I don't want to see you keep making these purchases. There are things that should that are selling for prices they should not sell for. As you saw maybe in the thumbnail, I'll put them right here too, but things like Chainsaw Man Volume 1 and 2 selling for $74 with 17 bids. What? It's, it's 2021. These two volumes released like, what, not even six months ago? Guys, these are out of stock. They're not out of print. They're gonna come back in stock for, what, $9.99? retail just wait don't don't just just stop buying these stop feeding into these insane eBay sellers I, not insane eBay sellers sorry insane insane eBay buyers and I don't even know if any of you guys who are watching this are even doing this but there's people that are doing this and, and I'm curious if just some people are getting confused with the difference between out of stock and out of print items because obviously there are manga volumes where two volumes can equal $74 can equal hundred dollars so these volumes should not be bought at this price right now another example we have Jujutsu Kaisen volumes one through three for one hundred and twenty seven dollars boys these are not listed prices these are sold prices these sold at this price and not not, not just like list of 27 bids 27 bids to get it to 127 dollars for three volumes of manga that have released what within the last six to eight months i don't know if we need to put a, a freeze on some parents credit cards or or if we just need to take some cards away from people but like guys these volumes specifically are gonna be back in print these are just out of stock at the moment like wait not, probably not even 30 days and they'll be back on shelves check a Barnes and Nobles I bet you you could probably find a Barnes and Nobles that have these volumes and this is like not a meme video or anything like this is a serious video this is obviously a serious issue that people are I don't want to say wasting money but you kind of are wasting money if you're buying these and this is this is not just too isolated incidents there's a bunch of incidents like that you have chainsaw man jujutsu kaisen demon slayer demon slayer sets are selling for listen if you want to buy demon slayer just wait don't buy it right now don't buy it they're releasing a box set it'll be uh released i think next fall slash winter it's not that far away and it's gonna be you're gonna be saving so much money by buying the box set and uh, well another thing i wouldn't buy the box set when it first releases for retail obviously wait like a month and it's gonna drop down a price and then you're gonna be getting it for a steal but i mean i'm seeing full sets of demon slayer selling for over retail over box price or, or, or book price retail price. that's insane listen there's things that are out of print that are probably not coming back in print. I think Jake the Pog made a video on this. Uh, other people have probably made videos on this. Out of print things are expensive because there's a decent likelihood that they're not gonna get reprinted. Now, of course you have things like Shaman King and a bunch of other series that are getting reprints and you never really know if something's totally done because if a company picks up the license to it, they can print it whenever they want. It's just a matter of, you know, how many sales do they think they're gonna get. So that's the reason why out of print manga old manga let's say old manga is expensive because it's not you can't buy it for retail anymore out of stock manga is manga that is just out of stock for the moment it is 100 percent coming back in stock and boys if you think Jujutsu Kaisen is not going to be back on shelves in full force within like one to two months. I just don't know what to tell you. So please, I hope this saves someone's wallet. I hope this saves someone's sanity. This this is going to save my sanity if I stop seeing these prices. It's one thing if I see Gantz and Phoenix and uh, I don't know, all the, you know, Eden, uh, Eden, it's an endless world, GTO, you know, these series where it's out of print, they're expensive volumes. There's nothing you can do. You're going to see crazy prices. I still sit, look at some of those prices. And I'm like, people are out of their minds for paying that. But at least that has an actual real value to it, kind of, because it's old. These volumes do not have a value on them that is more than retail when we're talking about Jujutsu Kaisen or Chainsaw Man. If anything, people should be paying less than retail for these. Like, if you're paying more than $8 for these volumes, you're doing something wrong because you can get them off Right Stuff or other websites for under $10. Plus, like, especially Chainsaw Man. Like, guys, that just got an anime announcement. You, you don't think that's going to be in print? Come on. Uh, of course, there's a hype to it because it, thing, when things get announced for an anime or an anime comes out usually those series are hard to get because so many people buy them example Dora Hidoro I hope that none of you watching this video paid way over retail for Dora Hidoro because they're basically all in stock right now and most of them you can get for under
under retail if you buy them from Right, uh, right Stuff or Simon & Schuster with the discount code. But there was a time where some of those volumes were really hard to get. Uh, Erased Volume 1 back in stock. It was just out of stock. Slam Dunk just came back in stock. Most of it. Yu Yu Hakusho, which those two are kind of like on the fence of, you know, we're not 100% sure until Viz said something. So obviously you have those, some like middle ground manga where you're not sure if it's out of stock or out of print. Sometimes you have to be careful with those. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know this was like, I said it wasn't a meme video and it, it isn't a meme video, but it's still kind of like just insane to me. Uh, so I hope this helps some people, especially maybe some of my younger viewers who don't, didn't know the difference between out of stock and out of print. There's there's nothing wrong with not knowing that, especially if you're new to the community. Uh, but I'm, I'm just hoping I can save someone's wallets, especially these crazy bids, man. Like, don't pay this. Like, just sit back and wait for them to come out. They'll be back. So yeah, that's gonna be it for this video. I will catch you guys later. Peace out.